Three tips to investing. First of all, you always want to buy something you can value. For example, let's say you buy a house, and then you know that this house will make $10 in rent a year, every single year, for five years. So $10, $10, $10, $10. So the total value of this house is $50. Without knowing if this house is $50 or not, let's say you're buying a currency or you're buying Bitcoin or whatever, you, you don't know if you're buying at a discount. So the first rule is you always want to buy something you can value. Second, you want to buy something at a discount. So this means instead of $50, because you know that's how much it is worth, you want to buy it at $25. Just like shopping, you don't want to go buy a pair of jeans or a jacket when you know it's full price. You want to wait till Christmas. So here it is, Christmas. So now you're buying something at a discount. And the third tip is to use leverage. When you go buy a house, and let's say it's $25, do you spend $25 on a house? Well, chances are you're only gonna put in 10 to 20% down, and the remaining 80%, you're gonna get a mortgage, which totally makes sense, because you wanna invest with other people's money. So, let's say the house goes up by 10%, before you use mortgage. So that means you would make $5. Now, if you get an 80% mortgage and you put only 20% down, in this case, $5, and if the house goes up by 10%, let's assume there's no interest, then you're gonna make the same $5, but you put so little money in that your return goes up to 100%. And this is exactly how I invest. So first, I assess what's the value of the stock. Then, I'll wait for the stock to be at a discount, basically waiting for Christmas. Then, I'll use leverage, which is stock options, to increase my return, so that I minimize my capital investments.